Hey guys, welcome back to another Nexus Core video. I'm Richard, and today we're doing an unboxing of the next trial deck for D Series, which is Trial Deck 6, Mire Mine, the Sealed Blaze Maiden. In this box, we have the new boss unit, Babs Ragra. It's incorporating a new style of gameplay, which uses equipped items that you can attach to the left and right of your main Grade 3 Vanguard, Babs Ragra. In set four, we're gonna be getting newer armaments that you can add to Babs Ragra, but for this trial deck, it only comes with two different ones, but you get full play sets. So it's a really fun deck for beginning players, and it's got a, like a unique style to it as well. But let's just go ahead and get right into the unboxing. Popping the seal open, pull that out. All right, so this is the main deck. Got the whole deck right here. We got a start guide and got a play mat in there as well. Let's see. So start guide is basically like you fold it out and it kind of explains like how boosting and riding, all those things work. Little play mat, let's see what they got in here. So the play mat also comes with like little keywords so that if you forget what the what the symbols stand for, you can kind of see right there. A little zoomed in, but this is where this shows like the starting vanguard. Like completely on the bottom row, it shows what the face steps are, stand, draw, ride, all, all that, etc. So the playmat's actually really helpful if you're new to the game, just having this out just to kind of practice on, get a better idea of how the game and what the gameplay is going on. Really helpful tool here. And on the back side, it comes with like a little cute comic strip. So a little fun thing for you guys to try out. Go ahead and get into the unboxing of the deck here. All right, peel that seal off. And then I'll slide the little plastic piece off. So Bavs Raga, top card there, that's our foil. This is our main grade three. It's probably gonna be the one that you're gonna put in your ride deck. So starting off with that, so Bav, Bavs Raga skill is, when this is armed, you soul charge one, and you choose a grade one or less from your drop and you call it. So armed meaning you put one of the order cards, that's the shield or the sword, and you attach it depending on where it's supposed to go. Act once per turn. If this unit is armed with two or more cards, you soul blast two, retire all your opponent's front row of your guards, and this gets an extra crit for the turn. So if you get both, you have a way to blow up your opponent's board, so that's really helpful. You get a full play set, so that way you don't have to worry about getting extra cards. And this is gonna be the main ride for DBT04 as well, so you don't have to worry about updating with like super expensive new main ride cards. I think the only thing would probably just be the new armed cards and maybe some supportive grade twos and threes. Other than that, the core of the main trial deck is really helpful just to get started with. Right into the grade twos. This is gonna be your ride for your ride deck. What it does is when this is placed on van by riding from sealed blaze dragon Namorkar, choose an arms from your drop and put it in your hand. So if you discarded an arms for the ride, you can get it back to your hand. And rear guard when this attacks, if your vanguard is armed, this gets 5K. So it's a good little 15K beat stick as well. So that's helpful. You get a full play set of these as well. Next, this is the grade one ride for Bazaraga deck. So what this does, let's see if I can move this stuff. So what this does is when it's placed on van by riding from sealed uh, blaze dragon Arhinsa, you soul blast one, you search your deck for a sealed blaze sword or the Steel Blaze Shield, and you reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, you shuffle your deck. So as soon as you go through like the ride phase and kind of going through your ride deck, you're gonna get at least one of the order cards. So that's very helpful as well. Rigor Circle is when it attacks, it gets 2K. Um, you do get a play set. I do think you're definitely gonna be replacing this. Like Madoka, it, Madoka becomes a 10K booster, but also in your hand, it can be a 15K shield. So this is, easily replaceable but needed for the ride deck so at least have one copy and then one on the next card in the pile is our starting vanguard grade zero the sealed blaze dragon arhinsa so same thing when this is wrote upon if you went second you draw a card so same as all the other d series ride deck cards you know nice uh sealed dragon art going on in these cards like that a lot so they just went through and showed off the ride deck cards first so this next one grade three you get three copies of, it looks like. It's Sealed Blaze Dragon Ulsalra. When this is placed on rear, you counterblast one, choose an arms card from your drop, and put it in your hand. So 
helps you find arms cards that way as well. So it's a pretty decent rear guard if you're starting off with a trial deck. I think this is definitely something you wanna keep until set four comes out and you wanna replace it for the other grade three. This is still really helpful though. For grade twos, ah, we got vanillas. This is Elk Bow Dragon. Has no skill, it's just a, it's just a vanilla. It's got 5K shield, 10K base power. Doesn't really do anything. Definitely wanna get rid of these when you get the chance. It's just taking up space in a trial deck. Got another grade one, we have three copies of it. It's a Sealed Blaze Dragon, Shirunga. When this boosts, you discard an arms card from your hand and you draw a card. So this can be helpful if Babs Raga is already equipped with two armaments or two armed armor cards. Um, and you don't want them to clog up your hand. So if you feel like, oh, I have all these armor cards that I'm not gonna use since Bezorg is already equipped with two, you can use the skill to discard and then draw a card to kind of help you filter through your deck. So this is actually pretty helpful. Oh, and lastly, <clears throat> for normal units, we just got the generic PGs. So this, this isn't the one that lets you guard if you only have one or less in hand. It's just the one that's placed on guard circle. You discard a card from your hand, choose one of your units, cannot be hit. So you have to discard even if you have one or less in hand. It's gonna get replaced by a Twin Buckler, but if you don't have Twin Bucklers, this is pretty okay too. We'll get into the armed cards in a moment, but it looks like we just got our generic over trigger, the same one that comes in all the trial decks. So it's the, the one where when you trigger check it during your battle phase, you give two units 100 million power, and then, you know, damage check is the same effect as all the other over triggers. It comes with four base rarity flat common uh, conduct spark dragons, and it comes with a little uh, when they, when revealed as a trigger it shows you what the effect does, kind of like what all the other trial deck cards does. So we got four vanilla crits, four vanilla draws. Uh, we got the the dinosaur draw. So unlike the blaze monks that came in the um, Nirvana trial deck, we got the other one. We got. Was it three stands? So you have three stands in the deck. So the fourth trigger being your over trigger. And then we got the cutest little heel twiga ever, the white light dragon, uh, dino baby. Love this, love this artwork for a heel trigger in general. So I think this is the best art for your Dragon Empire deck. So it's cool that it came in the start deck like that. All right, now we're getting into the armament cards. So we'll start off with the sword. So this is Sealed Blaze Sword. Should I even attempt to pronounce this? Prith, Prithiv, Prithiv, Prithiv. Uh, so it says right here, right deity arms us uh, in who it attaches to, which is Babs Varga. So it means this has to go on to the left side of it because it's Babs Varga's right. So technically that's why it's called that. So you have to put it on the left side of her. Um, you pay it. You play this by paying Soul Blast one, and its skill is when the unit armed with this attacks, the armed unit gets 10k till the end of battle. And at the end of the battle, if your opponent's damage zone has four or less cards, you can you can you don't have to counter blast two, uh, put this card into your drop zone, and you choose one of your opponent's vanguards and you deal a damage. So if you want to be really aggressive and pay the counter blast two. You lose your sword, but you get to deal an extra damage to kind of help put some more pressure on your opponent. But the 10K is passive during your turn when it attacks, so that's nice that Babs Arga is gonna be swinging for minimum 23K, which is really for free. I mean, not free, because you had to pay the Soul Blast one to arm it, but if you keep it here, it's pretty much gonna stay there. So you get four copies of this, so that way you don't have to worry about like constantly trying to search for them, so that's nice. And we get four shields. So this is Sealed Blaze Shield Swayinbra, Swayinbra, Swayinbra. Uh, left DD arms onto Babs Raga. You pay this with Counter Blast one. When the unit armed with this card is attacked, once per turn, that armed unit gets an extra 10K. So you can use this defensively for an extra free 10K shield. You can choose when you do it since it's once per turn, meaning that when you meet the condition and someone's attacking you, you can choose to resolve the skill of adding the 10K for that battle, or you can choose to pass on it, take the damage, and then apply that shield towards the next attack if you want to. This is a really good card in general just because that 10K shield is really nice. The fact that you can do it every single turn, at least once per turn, that's always just a nice insurance to have. So I like the armaments, like the play style of it. So I'm actually really looking forward to updating this, um, both with set three support and with uh, set four support when we do have DBTO4. 
So that's something I'm definitely looking forward to. I'm just gonna real quick uh, line these up so you guys can see what it looks like when you uh, match up the artwork. So yeah, you can see the, the wings in the back match up. And it'll be the same for the new arms that come up too. The new ones are gonna have same background so it looks like it matches up with the artwork, which is really nice. This has been the Babs Rocker unboxing. Um, you guys will be seeing an updated version of this deck in the near future. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, just leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video. It helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.